friends, it's Maya coming to you with another video and in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make just plain rice on top of the stove. Okay, so we're going to get started. I have some plain rice here. I just got some white rice here and this is parboiled rice and just plain old salt. Okay, so let's get started. Now, um, I'm going to be measuring my, my rice only for the sake of the video um, when I'm making this rice for my family I don't usually measure it I know how much um, I need and that's what I do so we're gonna do three um, cups of rice should be enough um, for my family okay but as I said I don't usually measure it out so okay so here we go three cups of rice in my pot right so what I'm going to do my friends you can do the same too I always make sure I rinse um, the rice a bit it's very starchy and I always make sure I give it a nice wash until it runs clear till the water runs clear okay so I'm gonna go over and do that and then we're gonna come right back okay my friends I have washed my rice and um, it's nice and clean now so I am going to, I hope you guys can see it. Hope it's bright enough, I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's nice and um, clean. So I am going to now, can you see it my friends, nice and clean. I am now going to add um, some water into this rice, okay? So, okay my friends, after you have washed your rice, um, you add in uh, maybe about four cups. Remember I used about three cups of rice and maybe about four cups of water. You judge it, my friends. If you want your rice to be really soggy, you can add plenty of water. It's up to you. I like when my rice is shelly, especially um, this parboiled rice. So the trick to doing this is, my friends, when you add the water onto your rice, make sure you the rice is still transparent. You can actually see the rice when you look through the water. You understand me, my friends? Make sure you can actually see the rice. That to me is enough water in it, okay? And it's cold water that I use. I'm going to bring it over to the stove. And the stove is on high. And I'm, now I'm going to add my salt and whatever I need to put in the, um, the rice. Now you can put butter in the rice if you want to. You can use, you didn't have to use water. You can also use chicken stock um, to cook your rice in. It's up to you, but I just use plain water. Now, as I said, I, you can see from where I'm standing, guys, you can actually see the rice in the water and that's enough water to cook this rice, okay? Um, I'm just gonna get the salt and come right back. As you can see my friends um, the stove is on high I'm going to get my salt and I'm going to put maybe usually I don't measure this when I'm making it for my family so maybe about half a teaspoon of salt um, just for taste maybe a little bit more you don't want it too salty and you don't want it too fresh as well okay so I'm gonna stir this around I'm not going to have any butter in this or anything else this is how I want my rice plain simple rice okay now my friends it's up to you you can use a foil paper to cover this up and cook it right now I don't usually do that I just use um, the lid from my cast iron pot you guys know me by now that I love cooking in the cast iron pots um, so you just get the lid now make sure the lid is sealed all the way around okay if it doesn't then this is when the foil paper would come in just to make sure there's a nice seal and there's no steam leaking out okay so I'm gonna remove the foil paper I'm gonna put my lid on now we're going to wait until the rice starts to boil before we lower the heat I never um, make the water boil before. Now, I don't want anyone coming at me and saying, no, you should make the water boil before. This is cooking white rice my way. I've always done it like this, and it turns out perfectly every time. So I'm gonna wait until this boils. I'm gonna show you once it's boiled, um, our next step. Okay, my friends, as you can see, my rice has just started to boil. 
I am now going to reduce the heat to medium and I'm going to cover the um, sorry I'm going to put the lid on and leave it like that guys do not open up the lid until all the rice all the water is gone okay so I'm gonna put this on medium I'm going to check it again in about another 10 minutes or so and um, then we're gonna come back okay so there we go leave the lid on it my friends once it started to boil what I should have told you once it started to boil just stir it a little bit and now leave it put back the lid on it that's it now it's on medium okay so we're gonna leave this on medium and we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes guys on the stove like this 20 minutes with the lid on okay and then we're gonna come again and reduce the the um, the heat a little bit lower okay okay my friends this is my rice going strongly and this is after 10 minutes of cooking I'm going to reduce the, um, the heat a little bit more and put it a little bit lower and I'm gonna keep the lid on okay so we're gonna leave that to do its own thing okay when this is done we'll come right back and serve us this wonderful rice okay here you are my friends my rice is done cooking after 20 minutes and look at that nice and shelly look at that I'm going to turn off my stove this is cooked to perfection okay look at that wonderful wonderful rice so this is when I fluff it up like this my friends I'm going to plate this my friends and then we're gonna come right back and see here we are my friends perfectly cooked rice and this rice has been cooking for about 20 minutes on top of the stove you've seen how I did it my friends go ahead try it on your own and um, leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out perfectly cooked rice I like this parboiled rice uh, my friends but maybe some a curry dish maybe some um, curry chicken or some curry goat I like this rice with it okay um, I'm just gonna finish up my dinner and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the plate okay here we are my friends perfectly paired rice as I showed you before and I'm pairing my rice with, with some barbecue steak and a nice kale salad okay um, yeah and that's it so don't forget my friends and everyone that wonders is lost and always strive for something better.